what is up guys welcome back to Ike Tech and Gaming today we're gonna be playing the long dark now this is a really awesome game I found it's not new but it's not old either it's still an alpha um, so there's not a whole lot of content to the game the story mode is not a thing yet um, but we're gonna try to play a little bit of sandbox today and uh, maybe we'll make this into a short series I just wanted to show you guys the game if you haven't seen it before it's just a beautifully made game the sounds and the sights um, it's it just so it just fits so perfectly together and it's such a beautiful game I love games like this that are so immersive so we're gonna play sandbox I played a little bit um, already on a game um, but we're gonna do a new one so let's go new sandbox create um, so you can choose different experiences for the game so you can either be a pilgrim which is basically like easy mode there's normal mode and then there's like hard mode um, I think we're gonna do normal mode today uh, it says you are an explorer in equal parts hunter and hunted the world will not give you anything freely but you'll find that with time you can master it for players who are looking for a reasonably challenging exploration survival experience but not a punishing one so I think we'll try that one I was playing earlier on pilgrim which means that like the wildlife won't attack you unless provoked there are like wolves and things so I guess we'll see we'll try uh, we'll try Voyager all right and we'll just try Mystery Lake because that's the one I kinda know and I will be a male survivor let's just call this uh, series all right how long can you survive Alright, so we spawned in this house. Alright, so we gotta we gotta look for stuff. Right here I got some soda. So I'm gonna take that. I'm also gonna drop my DPI down. There we go. Herbal tea. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Nobody needs that anymore. Peaches. Ooh. Gas can, that's good. What is a white stone? Sharpened blades. Alright. Uh, we're going to leave that because it's not very... It wasn't very... Uh, same with this. So you can see here uh, where it's orange there, it says 21%. It's 21% like left of it, so it's like kind of damaged. So we're just going to leave that for now. Actually, yeah, we're just going to leave that because we don't need it. We can always come back and get it if we really want to. Because we only can carry so much. So there's a pot belly stove here. For right now, I think we're going to survive here. And I'll do some researching outside, but... We've got plenty of stuff here. Now, on my game that I was playing before, I didn't start out in a place like this. So... I don't know if you always start out in a place like this, but um, this helps a lot because you get a lot of supplies. Wow. The landscape is so beautiful. So there's a deer out there and some huts. Let's go check those out. If I hit tab now, it's going to bring up my uh, my kind of inventory. So you can see here, um, I'm warm, but I'm pretty quickly decreasing. I'm pretty well rested. I'm a little hungry, and I don't really need a drink. Then you can go up here, and you can look through all the stuff in your backpack. So we've got quite a bit of stuff. And actually, we can carry more stuff than in the... Uh, my other game, so that's weird. Maybe since it's uh, the other game mode, probably. Um, we're gonna pick these cattails. We can use them as like fire and stuff. So there's a lot of little interacting 
interactable objects, I guess you can call them. Um, interactive, that's what I was looking for. And uh, you kind of want to just take everything that's useful because you'll definitely get stuck in a situation quicker than you'll think. So, having gear and supplies is really important in this game. There's like deer and stuff and eventually you can find a rifle and you can shoot them and then cook their meat. So, let's take... Oh, there's a hatchet. That is really useful. Tinder plugs are also useful. Rifles. That'll come in handy. Yes, I do. Let's take that. Take that too. So, fire is really important in this game. You're going to have to make fires a lot because you get cold, because it's out in the winter. So, making sure you have tinder, uh, fuel, and things to light it with are all really important. Uh, because if you don't have one of them, you can't make a fire, and then you're going to freeze to them, which <laughs> isn't good. New location discovered. Fishing huts. Okay. Got matches. That's good. Grape soda. I'm just going to drink this now. Might as well. And so the whole idea of the game is that you're surviving, and every action that you take, um, you know, takes up time in the day. So you'll see that as we progress on when we start doing things. I don't know what scrap metal is, so I'm going to leave that. And it's kind of heavy. Flare. I'm take that. I'm scare off my with it. A hook. Uh, sure, why not? I've never used scrap metal yet, and I've seen it's pretty abundant, so I'm going to leave that. Go check this out. Oh, there's a lot of stuff over here. So we have approximately four hours of daylight left. That's not a whole lot. And I just ran out of stamina. Plug. Nothing. Hook. Don't really need it. I've already got one. Or two, actually. Scrap metal, though. I could use this. Energy bar. That'll come in handy. Oh, we'll just take that for now. There's so much stuff out here. Now, for the night, I definitely want to camp somewhere with one of those potbelly stoves or anything like that because you can actually cook food and stuff a little easier in those. And uh, you also want to be protected from the wind. So, as you can see, I'm getting pretty cold now. So I'll probably head back right after this little cabin. Reclaim the wood. That's good. Soup. I'm pretty sure you already start out with clothes. Let's see. Um, yeah, we already start out with uh, minimal clothing. Okay, so I will take that back. Alright, so let's go back into here. We're going to wear that. We're going to wear that. There we go. Now I'm getting colder. <sighs> slower. Oh. I didn't really notice those shelves. Hopefully we didn't miss anything. Um, we'll come back tomorrow and uh, check out all that stuff, but for now, let's head back to where we started. Unless we want to camp out in one of these fishing huts. Actually, I don't know if it's big enough to lay a bed down inside there. We'll figure that out later. We'll just go back to where we started. Familiar. What is that noise? That's weird. Oh well. So as you can see, the sun's getting towards the horizon, and we don't want to be out here too much longer. Um, 
deer. They're running straight for me. I love the animation, how they run. Alright. Um, let's go check out over here. I do want to find a branch, so I can break that up and get firewood. And we desperately need firewood to keep us alive the whole night. So I don't know if I can actually break this up. Just part of the landscape. But, definitely need a branch. And there's no button. Fingers feel numb. His fingers feel numb. There's no button to actually, like, jump, which is kind of what makes it hard to navigate sometimes. But this guy definitely needs some fire. Mystery Lake. He's also tired, obviously. Oh god, stamina goes down so quickly. Take a look. Oh, that's right. Can I take those boards? Nope. Is that a branch? Oh. I do see a stick. I'll come back for those branches in a second. I'm just going to start a fire. Warm. Back door. Let's come over here and start this fire. So it brings up a little interface here. It shows you um, what you're going to put in there. So I'm going to light it with cardboard matches. Um, my tinder is going to be that cattail head. And fuel, I'm going to use uh, a piece of reclaimed wood. Now it shows me I'm going to have 30 minutes of fire. Uh, my fire starting skill right now is 50%. My chance of success is only 45 Now if you had an accelerant, which is what I'm going to do because I don't want to fail with all these resources. It'll upgrade your chance to an 85% chance. So I'm going to use that. Can I get... Okay, I'm going to use wood matches too because that's going to upgrade my success. Okay, all those are the same, so I'm just going to use cattail head. Now the wood... Ooh, if I use a stick... and accelerate and there's a hundred percent chance and then I can add more stuff so that's what I'm gonna do you really don't want to fail when starting a fire there we go and now we can add some fuel to the fire now we've got two hours and thirteen minutes left and the heat is rising so if we look we are definitely warming up um, but we are pretty tired so we'll need to get that done pretty soon there's only three hours of daylight left, so once we warm up a little bit, we're going to head back out and gra gather some resources for the fire, and then we can stay here for the night. What's this? Antiseptic. Some more wooden matches. Shelf. You can break down things like shelves. Drawer here. What have we here? Soda. That's what we have here. Toasty one. So we can also cook food that we have, and uh, we can melt snow and uh, boil water to make it clean and drinkable. So getting water isn't too hard in this game, so drinks aren't super essential. So when we're getting to be a little heavy, um, drinks are probably one of the first things I'm going to drop. I see something down there. I don't think I can grab it because I don't know how to crouch. Oh, there's also an upstairs. Okay. Oh, do I still warm up if I'm, like, way over here? Looks like that. Or if I'm, like, up here. Yeah. Still warming up if I come up here. More shelves. Some drawers up here. Ooh, basic gloves. Definitely want to take those. I'm gonna put those on. And I've got some gloves on too. Bed. Oh, okay. This is good. So, when places have a bed, that means then you don't have to use. Um, you have a little bedroll. But every time you use that, obviously, it breaks it a little bit. 
so. Um. Hang the Hope nobody needs this anymore. No, I don't want to. <laughs> oh, and here's another bedroll that we got. So, we've actually started out in a pretty good location. I don't know if you always start out here, because I've never tried this game mode. But this seems pretty good. And I'll probably move upstairs with the fire, since that's where my bed is and everything. Um, after this one burns out. So, let's see. Um, getting warmer here. Two hours of daylight left. We're going to go break down some wood and then uh, be back in. So we're going to leave those crates and those shelves you can break down into firewood. I'll probably leave those for an emergency. Um, that looks like a fallen branch. Check that out. Is it? Yes, cedar limb. So if I use my hatchet, it's going to take an hour and 250 calories, but I'm going to get cedar firewood and tinder plug. So I'm going to break that down. Now, I'm getting cold now. But, I've got a lot of stuff. Crow feather. Oh, there's going to be that person. Uh, we don't want dog food. We will take lantern fuel. But yeah, that's great. There's a frozen corpse here. Okay. It's starting to get really dark out, and I'm getting really cold, so we're going to head back inside. There it is, nice and toasty warm. There's only 27 minutes left fuel in that fire, so we're going to leave that one, actually. Unfortunately, I didn't know there was one upstairs. So now we're going to start one up here. All right. 70. I don't want to use that. Um, we are just going to have to risk it. Hopefully, we start the fire. And the more fires you start, the more your uh, skill increases. So, when you're more skillful, I'm guessing it's just the higher chance of fires you start. Start. Good. Alright. Fire setting still increased. Alright, so we got 4 hours and 52 minutes of fire. It's actually not a whole lot. Unfortunately. Oh, book. Books are actually pretty good fire sources, so. There we go. Ooh, this one I can take. This one I can take. Granola bar. I didn't see this cabinet before. Okay. Um, we can break down everything in here if we, like, really wanted to. Um, what do I need? I am hungry, I'm thirsty, and I'm extremely tired. So, first off, let's cook some stuff real quick. So we'll go into the food. Pinnacle peaches. Um, I guess we're just gonna heat up peaches. We we'll use the hatchet to open it, and then it'll cook. So I always kind of eat the stuff that's broken the most first. That obviously probably makes the most sense. Um, I don't know how warmed up peaches taste, but it's gonna warm me up when I eat it too. So I go back here. I gotta find the peaches. Eat them. There we go. And that warmed me up, and it says I'm warming up because of my hot food slash drink. Um, and I'm not as hungry or thirsty. But I'm very tired, so we're gonna take a nap here. Just do an hour of rest. Now it says about question mark of hours of darkness left because it's like foggy or snowing out see out the window. You can't see anything out the window. It's so freaking dark in here. It is really dark. Now, I have a lantern. I don't want to use it. So we're just going to kind of leave it alone. I'm still very tired. 
We got three hours and 43 minutes left, so let's sleep for two hours. There we go. Eight hours of darkness left. Um, the fire's still going. Let's go over here. I can't see where anything is. Let's take this chair down. 22 minutes, we'll get three re reclaimed wood, so we'll break that down. I don't know where it all is. There we go. There we go. We only got two hours and 43 minutes left. So not a whole lot of time left. Are for. We are very thirsty and very tired, so let's go ahead and melt some snow. Melt one gallon. We have an hour and 23 minutes left. Now let's purify the water. Boil the one gallon of water. Alright, so now we have one gallon of drinkable water, which we are very thirsty now. So we are going to go ahead and drink some of that. We're also very hungry. Oh, I'm not thirsty anymore. Alright, we're hungry, but we're very tired. There's five hours of darkness left, and only 38 minutes, so... What we're going to do is we are going to sleep for five hours, and hopefully it'll be daytime by then. So, we'll hopefully stay warm enough. Hopefully. Less than an hour of darkness left. Poop. Alright. We'll rest one more hour real quick before we get too cold. Alright, 13 hours of daylight left. Hopefully, there we go, now we can see, but it's very cold too, and we've lost our fire. So we're going to need, today, we're going to need to eat real quick and drink some more. But today we're going to have to go out and really get some, uh, really get a lot of supplies. So I'm going to sort everything that's broken, so we'll eat that real quick. Still very hungry, so military grade MRE. I guess we'll do that. It had a lot of calories in it, so we are all the way full. We're pretty much good everywhere, so we'll head back outside and we'll go take a venture at what awaits us. Okay, so I already know there's a dead body up here, and I know there's a lot of stuff over there. Um, let's just go take a look over here real quick. We need to make sure we keep an eye out for wolves, because they will probably ruin our day. So there's a train track here, so eventually once we get enough supplies, we want to follow that. There's some train cars down there we might want to check out, but uh, let's go gather some firewood really quick for today, and then we'll kind of call it quits and leave some exploring for the next episode. I've really enjoyed this. I hope you guys did, so uh, if you guys did like it, Make sure to leave a like and comment on the video because that really helps me know if you guys enjoyed it or if anyone's really following through on watching it, you know. Because if you didn't like it, there's really not much of a reason for me to... Wow, I got really cold really quick. I'm going to need to head back in. All 
Alright, so, ugh. Alright, let's make a fire real quick. Warm up. Sixty-seven percent chance. Alright, let's do it. Start the fire with a little bit of gasoline. Ah. Alright, there we go. So we got a nice hot fire going. We'll warm it up. Uh, like I said, guys, if you guys liked it, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date on all of my awesome videos. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been The Long Dark. See ya later.